Okay. This is LCD panel replacement for a HP G60 laptop. First thing you want to do is shut it off, make sure all your power is off. Flip it over, remove the battery, and remove all screws here, here, along the front edge, also the screw for the optical drive and the cover for the hard drive. Okay, after you remove the screws from the bottom and the optical drive and the hard drive cover, you'll need to remove the hard drive screws here, here, and here. Uh, there are three keyboard screws, one here, here, here under the battery, and two more screws you'll need to remove to remove the, the, um, uh, the palm rest panel underneath the battery as well. After removing all the screws that are required to uh, remove the palm rest from the bottom, we'll now flip it over and remove the keyboard. Which you will need a small flat flat blade screwdriver, pry up gently. And it just clips in place from here. Remove the cable. And you have more screws here, here, and here. With those screws removed, you'll need to remove the ribbon cable, uh, the ribbon cables from underneath, also the um, antenna cables, and any other cables that are going to lead up to the uh, LCD. There are four screws holding the LCD panel to the machine, two on either side. Uh, at that point, we'll be able to lift off the, the screen and lay it on top of the base to be able to work on the screen a little bit further. At this point there's two screws holding the plastic bezel around the LCD panel. Screws here and here. Uh, at that point gently, uh, preferably with a non-scratching uh, utensil, uh, you'll need to uh, pry the clips out from around and pull off the bezel and uh, we'll show you that when we get to it. Very gently pry up the uh, pry, pry the bezel off the clips, and from the bottom remove from around the LCD panel. There are six screws holding the LCD to the back panel. There's three on either side. We'll remove those and then be able to remove the railing and the plugs and replace the LCD. Okay, with the screws removed, simply lift out the LCD panel. Carefully tilt it up. So you can remove the ribbon cable. Pause. Just simply untape it, slide it out. At this point, you should just be able to remove the plug from the LCD inverter. After removing the plug from the LCD inverter, you'll simply remove the screws from the bracket on the side and replace the LCD panel. With the new LCD panel in hand, now that we have the old one out, a simple reversal of the process to put it back in, making sure that you put all the screws back in the right holes and uh, plugging the plugs in the correct direction.